this is this is Tom and welcome to my new RC channel and what I'd like to introduce to you is um, my first build of an RC kit in many many years probably 15 years and what I've chosen to build on or to build is the Land Rover Defender 90 from Tamiya this is a, a CC01 chassis cross country 01 chassis I'll be building this as a test of my uh, skills to record this on the channel. Let me just share with you uh, the build and modifications that I want to do. And um, so what this is going to be, like I said, is a CC01 Defender. And um, what I have listed here are some of the, some of the options I want to create as I build it. Those in green, I won't begin the build until I have. Those in yellow, um, I'll do after the build is complete or at some point in time uh, during the build or maybe much later than the build, but uh, generally here's what it is. Uh, the first thing is uh, diff locks. I am going to uh, diff lock both the back and the front <coughs> axle. Uh, as I stand, as I understand the back, I will do uh, w with the configuration of the kit. The front diff locks, I've decided not to use diff locking putty or paste or any of that. I've actually just uh, wanted to try using the small bevel gear that is part of the 5602 or the SP602. Um, differential pack kit and I'm actually waiting on that right now so this is why I haven't uh, started the build quite yet and then I also decided to not use the plastic bearings but some better higher quality bearings and uh, just using fast heavy bearings here um, then after that what I definitely want to do is improve the shocks dampers on this um, and in the beginning what I want to do is actually do it without purchasing uh, a different shock or damper although I think I will long term so um, how I'm going to do that is consider using a barrel spring if I can find one I haven't actually found one that's uh, not really expensive yet. So if anyone has a suggestion where that would be, uh, I would love to hear. And uh, another uh, another idea that I received from watching someone else's comments on the CC01 is I'm not going to place the spring pretensioners, which is part of the kit. Then at some point in time, uh, I'm going to upgrade the off-road tires to be much softer uh, and stickier than the standards that come with the kit. Uh, and as you can see there, I have some notes on that. Uh, I had to learn a lot about uh, these tires and wheels because this is all kind of new to me, so I have some notes as I went along. Um, and then uh, other modifications maybe in the future is a higher torque motor. I was considering maybe a, a 55 turn motor. Now I'm thinking maybe a little uh, less torque than that in case I wanted to use um, it not always for rock crawling. Um, and a high torque servo in the future and uh, as I understand uh, a front bash plate might be nice. And then lastly um, rear four link suspension mm. and um, possibly with a stroke extender although that's a little crazy and then a steering upgrade uh, and we'll we'll go into the details on this is on the body itself I'm going to the body seems rather flimsy because it's very large and heavy um, so I was going to uh, increase the strength of that using the old um, the standard what I've seen out there 
using the fiberglass tape. Um, and the shoe goo idea. So that is using the tape and the shoe goo to give it a little strength to those large sheets of thin Lexon. Anyway, so as, as soon as I receive the uh, small bevel gear, I'm going to start the build. Uh, hopefully you'll be excited to follow along and it won't be too painful. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.